Some creatures don't want to mess with our lives, some just want to live in peace, but sometimes we stumble on them. Here are Philippine folklore creatures that wanted to be left alone. Let's start with a spirit. A spirit called Kumakatok is on the Philippine folklore. Kumakatok or knocking are spirits who knock on your door in the middle of the night. They usually bring bad omens or could be that they are there to warn the family of a terrible thing that might happen. It depends on one's view, actually. They look like normal humans but wear hoods. Their faces can't be seen due to the hood blocking the light. It is said that these Kumakatok consist of a young woman and a two old men. In the middle of the night, they knock on someone's door. Their visit means someone is about to die on the house they are visiting. They usually appear frequently when there is a disease outbreak. They will knock three times on the door and if no one answers, they will just leave and be on their way. However, that does not mean that the family is safe. Answering them or not does not change the fact that someone is about to die. Although seen, no accounts of anyone answering the trio. Santelmo is another creature of Philippine mythology that closely resembles Will-O-Wisp of the Greek. Santelmo is shortened form of St. Elmo. The ghostly fire can be seen hovering like dancing, usually a bluish white color. Though according to some accounts, the flame is heatless and non-consuming and will only last in a matter of minutes. According to the legend, the fire is a torque of St. Elmo that was lost in the woods. And if you found Santelmo in your travels, you will be forever lost, like Santelmo. Mantahungal is a land creature that is from Philippine mythology. It is said that this creature is feared by Tagabanuwa's people since this evil beast was known to rip person in shreds. This monster has a body of a cow but is hornless and has a shaggy hair on his body. Like the boar, it has two huge tusks like fangs that is used to rip its victims apart. The creature is said to live on top of the mountains and usually avoided by human beings. However, if it sees one, it does not run. Instead, it rushes through the victim, ripping it apart. Nuno Sapunso is what this creature often refers to. Nuno Sapunso or Goblin of the Mound are creatures who just want to live their life peacefully. I mean, it does not do you any harm as long as you don't harm them. Nuno Sapunso lives underground. They are mostly found on a tree where it has some anthill-like soil. These Nuno Sapunso has been around for generations. It is believed that if you pee on the tree or on the ground, you should say tabi tabi po or excuse me. That way the Nuno Sapunso knows that you are paying respect and will just let you go. Now if you somehow forgot to say those magic words and you perform some call of nature, sudden illness will befall on you. From just a fever to really heightened temperature. If their home is destroyed, regardless if it's accident or not, they will take the life of the one who destroyed their home. Or much worse, the life of the others as well. Lumpong is a duende or dwarf, but with magical powers. It likes to shapeshift itself as a white deer. It lives in the forest and roam its vast wilderness as a white deer. Although a duende, Lumpong bears no ill will on humans as long as they live him in peace. There were a tale of young hunters who is hunting on the forest on the middle of the night. They spot two bright lights and immediately shot it. When they searched for it, it was nothing there. Then they saw the animal again and shot it but still there was no evidence that they are hitting an animal. They go like this for about 6 times and one of the hunters shot the creature and immediately rushed to it. He saw a white fur there however it changed immediately to its true form as a duende. It just stood there and the hunter was frozen in fear. Soon the party arrives and when they saw the creature they shouted it's the Lampong, run. So if you are out hunting and you see any white deer in the forest, shoot it five times and if it still doesn't not die, nuke the freak. So our last list of creature is the Kiban, which is the child size. His body is covered in hair much like of a monkey type, while their mouth gleam with gold teeth. They are like kind of dwarf. They have long hair that reaches on their feet. Their home is also in the tree where it was frequently visited by a little top or firefly at night. 
It's like to relax in trees and strum their guitar-like instruments. It's not terrifying, but that differs on the appearance. I mean, seeing a dwarf like with the foot facing backwards is surely one hell of a sight. Although it looks more like a little demonic thing, it won't hurt you. These creatures are laid back and just want to have an easy life. It is also told that they give some magic pot, purse, hut, whip, or drum to their mortal friends. So in case you see one, ask for the pot, if you know what I mean.